In Italy this morning, 29 passengers and crew members from the Costa Concordia cruise ship are still missing. Rescuers blasted holes in the hull this morning to get access to blocked off areas where people might be. Now, survivors say the evacuation of the ship was so chaotic, so we wanted to find out how crew members are trained for this kind of accident. Transportation correspondent Mark Tr Strassman, rather is his name, he's in Fort Lauderdale with some of the answers to those questions. And Mark, we keep hearing consistently that the crew let a lot of people down that day. Good morning, Gail. That's absolutely right, which is why, of course, there are now suddenly sweeping calls for safety reform in an industry where disasters on this scale are actually uh, quite rare. But no single authority polices the world's cruise ships, which critics say carry risk, but sail right past any real accountability. Captain Jerry Pinnell was deliberately running his ship aground. Major flooding, one, two, three, double bottom. But this was a simulated maritime disaster. Call passengers to muster at their muster stations. Part of emergency training for junior and senior officers on cruise ships. So we, we want them to react in training as they will react in real life, and that will ensure that the correct procedures are taken. Evacuation control center bridge. All the world's 200. 156 registered cruise ships are supposed to follow a minimum international safety standard, but only one of them is registered in the U.S., where those standards are higher. To save money, cruise lines often register ships in foreign countries, where the standards may not be as strictly enforced. On any cruise ship, only the captain may give an order to abandon ship. Once he does, every crew member has a defined role in its evacuation. But like the passengers, crew members often come from different countries and speak different languages. Most vessels operate internationally on uh, an English basis, so in some cases English may be a second language to these people, so they are communicating in a crisis, remind you, in a secondary language, and that's why the predetermined procedures are so important. The Costa Concordia is owned by Carnival, the world's largest cruise line, but its jurisdiction is Italian. <laughs> Disaster struck three hours into the cruise before passengers had completed lifeboat drills that international regulations mandate must occur within 24 hours of departure. Mega ships like the Costa Concordia are floating cities, and critics say an overhaul of safety regulations is overdue. I think it emphasizes and brings a painful reminder, and it happens to be the 100th anniversary of the Titanic disaster, that cruise ships are vulnerable and there's serious safety concerns. On average, one-fourth of a ship's crew is constantly turning over, along with 100% of the passengers. So that's a lot of new faces suddenly forced to save each other if there's a call to abandon ship. Mark, you're in Fort Lauderdale. I hear that's called the uh, cruise capital of the states. Do you know that, can you tell us something about the training of this particular crew, and especially the captain? Well, this, but you're right. Uh, Fort Lauderdale and Miami, uh, Florida generally, are the, is the, the cruise ship capital of the world. Junior officers and senior officers get a fair amount of training, often weeks of safety training. Uh, the, the lower crews, of course, uh, get a whole lot less. I'm talking about all the staffing that makes up these floating cities, the, the maids, the waitresses, uh, all the folks that make it happen day to day. So the whole safety picture, the training involved, uh, what the accountability is for all that, that is very much, Gail, now is uh, what is under scrutiny and whether some serious reform is needed when all these ships go sailing past uh, what critics say is any sense of accountability and uh, any sense that uh, people have to be held to account when something goes wrong. Mark Strassman in Fort Lauderdale this morning. Mark, thanks.